Hello beautiful soul family, hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to send out a quick message regarding um, the all-out spiritual warfare that's taking place around planet Earth right now. This is one of the most important messages that all light workers, in fact all humanity needs to be aware of and it is of utmost importance to know that the main purpose behind this is to um, become aware of the fear tactics that are being used to control and manipulate humanity to keep us in a state of lower vibration in fear in hatred separation and anger and for us to recognize the forces that are operating behind the scenes invisibly um, the dark forces which are combined forces of the archons of uh, the dark extraterrestrials who do not have their own supply of source energy and uh, for us to recognize uh, how they use our negative emotions as louche energy as fodder for their uh, own source of supply of power because they are cut, cut off from their own source and uh, what we can do to um, n what we need to know about their tactics that they use to bait us and trap us to keep us vibrating in lower frequencies and how we can avoid these traps so in the in this video i'm going to give you practical tips and examples of how we can get take back our power from these uh, forces of darkness and for us to uh, learn how to not be manipulated and keep our vibration high so first of all i'd like to go into who are these uh, dark forces and uh, how did we get into the situation that we are in today so for the last 300,000 years or so our earth has been dominated by um, forces of darkness which are, uh, are comprised of um, mainly comprised of a reptilian extraterrestrial race that came to this planet they manipulated humanity they cut off our uh, source of power which was our fully activated 12 strand DNA and uh, they have been uh, manipulating us in very subtle ways over the years for thousands and thousands of years now and uh, they have pretty much um, uh, infiltrated our governments all of our major institutions and organize, uh, organizations uh, like our pharmaceutical industry the medical industry uh, the social media the mainstream news every single organization is currently being um, used as um, as a control tactic to keep humanity in fear for example um, if you turn on the mainstream news uh, last week the main uh, news was about how World War three will destroy us all and this year it's all about how this um, coronavirus will kill off the human population so we have to recognize these patterns and we have to know that th uh, the agenda that is being played against humanity is to keep us in fear and if we are in fear if we are vibrating in lower frequencies then we become very susceptible to manipulation by these entities known as archons um, so archons are basically uh, lower dimensional beings they exist mainly in uh, 4d frequencies uh, just above our 3d reality so they're not exactly visible to us um, and they feed off our negative emotions they have um, they are aware they are intelligent and uh, they are able to um, they are able to read our thoughts so they are able to manipulate us in very clever ways so they uh, we don't even realize that we're under attack or we're being manipulated so the way they operate is that uh, to keep us vibrating in fear they need us to make the decision to latch on to a no lower vibration of anger or hatred or fear and once we make the initial decisions which happens uh, within this uh, six seconds of being triggered once we take the bait then they have us in in their grip and that's when they really are able to manipulate us like puppets and keep us going into this downward spiral of fear and uh, once we are in their control it becomes very difficult for us to get out of it so the next question to answer would be why do these beings feed off humans why do they not go for their own source of light um, because these uh, archons these dark extraterrestrials uh, all of these parasitic entities um, they've been existing for millions of years and they have 
uh, gone to such depths of darkness that they are completely cut off from their own source of light. They have chosen to abandon God and they have chosen to exist in very dark realms. And from these dark realms, they cannot access source energy. And uh, because they don't have access to their own light, they depend on um, civilizations that exist in 3D and 4D, like the human civilization on planet Earth. And they use these civilizations uh, as fodder. And uh, they can only feed off, um, off third density and fourth density beings. Once we raise our quotient into the fifth density, which we will be doing very soon as a, as a human race, then we're completely untouchable to them. So the first thing that I wanted to put out there and clarify is that these beings are extremely weak and powerless. Most people, when they hear about demons or entities, they uh, automatically go into fear as if these are some powerful beings that we have uh, uh, no power over or they can control us and there's nothing we can do about it. You Actually, it's far from, from the truth. They're not to be feared. You can think of these entities as very weak and annoying parasitic en entities, similar to mosquitoes that are just vampires sucking your blood. So the first thing to realize and to be assured is that you as a human being are extremely powerful. And once you e equip yourself with the right knowledge and resources and the techniques that you need to know about how to avoid their pitfalls and traps, then we are more powerful than these beings and we are the ones that they in fact fear when we are fully equipped with knowledge. So one of the reasons there's an all-out spiritual war taking place on this planet right now and 2020 is going to be the turning point of, um, of our reality is that our planet, um, our humanity, our, the human race is raising its frequency. We're entering into this new age of light and um, these beings absolutely despise the light. They cannot stand it. So anywhere they see a being that is uh, anchored fully into the light, into their heart, they cannot survive around that being. So if the whole human population awakens, they will be forced to exit this planet. And uh, many of these, uh, many of our leaders, our political leaders um, who are corrupt, who have been acting as agents of these dark forces are also involved. And many of these beings and uh, many of the corrupt leaders are extremely angry with what's taking place on this planet because they feel that this planet belongs to them and they feel it is their birthright to control humanity, to keep us small and to keep us in their fists. So once we awaken, once we all learn how to operate from our heart and expand into love, we become impenetrable to them. We become like a force that they cannot touch and they, will be f they are already being forced to exit the planet. So uh, right now, all the chaos, all the disturbances, all the uh, fear that is being played out in the media about disease, about war, it's a last ditch attempt by these dark forces to create chaos in this planet. Eventually, they have no choice but to leave. But in the meantime, um, they're acting like that spoiled child who is getting their toy snatched away from them. And their attitude is, if I can't have it, then no one can. So they'd rather cause as much destruction on this planet as possible before they are forced to leave. And uh, that is the reason there's an all-out spiritual war taking place on this planet right now. So it is of utmost importance that we equip ourselves with the knowledge on how to avoid these traps that they lay before us. So let's get into some more detail about how these beings manipulate us to keep us in a lower vibrational state. Um, so you can think of the situation as in, a, in your daily routine, our a normal frequency as, um, as human beings is that of peace and love. And um, whenever we are going through our day and let's say you're driving in the traffic, somebody cuts you off and suddenly you get this road rage take over you, 
or uh, you're just sitting on the couch minding your own business and your spouse or your f family member suddenly comes out or your child comes out and um, creates havoc or yells at you and you suddenly lose your balance, that is the trap that is being set for you. So these um, dark beings, I will s simply uh, refer to them as dark entities moving forward. These dark entities know exactly what our weak spots are and they know how to manipulate our weak spots to get a reaction out of us. So the most important thing for us to realize, and if you get this one tip in this video, then you've mastered the game. If we do not react in the initial six seconds of being triggered by an event or any situation, then we've mastered the game. So I'll repeat that. If within the first six seconds of being triggered by a situation or a person, if you choose not to react and you anchor a vibration of love and peace in your heart and not fall into your lower negative ego, then you've mastered the game. But it takes a lot of self-mastery to get there. You, so you have to be patient with this process and you have to understand all the various ways um, because they're not going to stop after the initial attempt. They're going to keep coming back, keep coming back until you make your light as strong as possible so that you become impenetrable. So the way they feed off your energy is that once they cannot control your free will, they can only control or they can only trigger you, they can only annoy you, they can manipulate you through your family and friends who are of a lower consciousness and they can use them as puppets. However, they, can, um, they cannot override our free will. So if we recognize that with our free will we are not going to react, then we don't fall into the trap. If, however, we do react, which most of us do when we are in a weak state, then these entities are able to put their hooks in us. And once they have their hooks in us, then it becomes very difficult for us to get out of that situation. So uh, let's say your child suddenly starts making a ruckus around you and you're trying to focus on a very important project and you just like uh, lose it in that split second and you yell at your child and your child starts crying and then you're, there's mayhem, then um, you've already gone into the downward spiral. But even then it's not too late because once this happens, once these negative thoughts start occurring or you're going into this downward spiral, you still have a chance to stabilize the situation and not go deeper. So it's, it's more difficult at that point, but it's not impossible because once you realize how the game is played, you can master how to not go deeper into this pitfall and not take the trap, not take the bait. But once you start going down, and um, for most of us, we're, uh, when we're initially in the beginning stages of our spiritual journey, our negative ego is more dominant than our higher self. So it's like um, the dark and light is like an inner battle between us as well. It's like the war for con this spiritual war of consciousness is like a battle within our soul. Whether we, in any given situation we will act out of our negative ego or from our higher self, from our heart center, from love and peace. So another thing that we need to realize is that these dark entities are experts at mind control. Um, and they can pretty much listen to all of our thoughts. And uh, they know us very well because they've been around us f uh, pretty much uh, all our life or from, from multiple lives. So they know us inside out and they know what triggers us. So even if we master um, anchoring a sense of peace in our heart, they will use other tactics. They will start using the people you love, the people that surround you. And um, our families, in most cases, are not all awakened people. They're um, still vibrating in lower consciousness, so they become very easy targets for these vampires. So, um, for example, if you choose not to react in the first instance, they will, uh, you, many people are realizing these days that they're randomly getting very aggressive behaviors from people surrounding them. And this is the key. You have to recognize that it's not just you they're manipulating, but it's also people around you. 
They can manipulate your children. They can manipulate your spouses, your parents. Um, even that um, waitress in the restaurant, they can um, make them snap at you so you lose your cool. So you have to be about your wits and recognize the game so that you don't fall into the trap. And you have to f um, immediately recognize upon the moment of recognizing that this is indeed a situation that's being manipulated to trigger you. You have to place your hands on your heart and just take a deep breath. And in that, in the first six seconds of uh, not react reacting out of anger or hatred, if you choose to just anchor peace in your heart, you will be able to separate yourself from the situation peacefully. So the second step you need to take is to remove yourself from the negative situation. For example, if your spouse is like constantly harassing you or attacking you, and you know that they're just being puppets for these dark entities, then you must separate yourself. You must leave the room. You must leave the situation because that is the only way to diffuse the trigger. When we're in a very heated situation, when emotions are running high, um, all the odds are stacked against us. So the first thing we must do is just anchor peace in our heart and, this, and not react. And the second thing we must do is to remove ourselves from the situation so that the whole um, situation is diffused and you're not going deeper and deeper into this negativity. So you're not, your job is not to try to protect your family members and try to save them from these dark beings because you'll save them simply by diffusing the situation and choosing to leave and not participate any further. Another thing to uh, keep in mind is that these beings are also experts at injecting negative thoughts into your mind. So anytime you are, uh, if you start having nagging thoughts um, that are lowering your consciousness, that are lowering, lowering your frequency, usually it can be in this uh, situation where you're trying to you're trying to work on something or you're doing something that is very meaningful to you and suddenly these voices of doubt uh, crowd around you. It could be if you had narcissist parents, it could be their voices playing against you that, oh, you're not good enough, you, you can't do this. Who do you think you are to share your messages or to share your light? Like, um, you're not worthy of this. Look at, look at that person. They're so much smarter than you. They're so much brighter than you. So all these voices of doubt are not your voices. Uh, so once you recognize that, you know that it is your only job is to remove these voices out of your mind and to bring yourself back into the center. So stop doing what you're doing in that state and simply go back into your heart until you bring, come back into your natural state of peace and love. Once you anchor love, these beings can no longer be around you. So it's very important for you to recognize that. If you try to ignore the voice and just um, think that it'll go away, it won't. Because um, one of the things that parasites do um, think of it as a mosquito. Mosquito sits on you, it bites you, and then it bites you somewhere else until you're completely flustered and irritated. So they're not going to stop. It is up to you to remove yourself from the situation, change the environment, do whatever you need to raise your frequency, go for a walk, take a cold shower, but change the situation and go back into your heart until you've anchored love again. And only from a place of love can we achieve anything in life. If you're flustered, then we cannot achieve anything. Another thing that keeps us in a state of weakness is um, if we are physically ill, if we are depressed, if we are, um, if we are not vibrating in joy, if we are stuck in these dead-end jobs that are not fulfilling our soul's growth, um, all of these things, depression, anxiety, um, also depression drugs, if you're taking chemical drugs to fight depression, usually they're chemically inducing you to be dependent on that medication, like SSRI uh, medications. So avoid taking chemical drugs, avoid taking recreational drugs as much as possible, uh, especially hardcore drugs or even um, no normal recreational drugs like marijuana can um, make lots of holes in your aura and make you susceptible to attack by parasitic entities. So all of these things 
um, physical health um, is extremely important. All of these things keep you vibrating in very low states and very low frequencies. So it is of utmost importance right now for us to be in the best physical shape of our lives. And that not only strengthens our physical body, but it also strengthens our emotions. It makes you um, feeling more joyous, more happy, uplifted. It is very important for us to align our lives with jobs that make us feel happy. Um, and it is very important for us to align with our soul's path. So we are, we are vibrating very high when we are in jobs that excite us. So if your uh, daily routine, if your jobs, if your life is not exciting to you, you're going to be constantly stressed. You're going to be constantly um, shrinking your aura. And uh, all these things are um, actually, these are the ways society manipulates us to keep us vibrating in very low frequencies because the whole system is designed against us. Uh, everything from our health system to our fast food system, which keeps us also vibrating very low. Uh, that's another thing. If you are prone to overeating and you're constantly being impulsed to go down and eat that slice of cheesecake, then know that it's dark entities manipulating you. And their main uh, agenda, their main attempt or their main way of manipulating us is for us to uh, react or act out of control. So if we're like impulsed by, their, uh, by an eating disorder, we're going to be lowering our frequency and then it becomes easier for them to latch on to us and manipulate us. So basically, we've identified how we can avoid these traps and pitfalls, how we can separate ourselves from negative situations and not perpetuate in these negative cycles. And if all else fails, I also have a prayer that I, quick prayer that I say to ward off all negative and uh, dark entities from my aura, and this works like magic. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to put this uh, incantation that I use um, in underneath the video, and uh, you can use it anytime. Um, also, one thing that you, we must realize is that these dark entities always try to feed off of us and once they're once we've hit rock bottom in that particular situation they will leave us alone because they also need us to recharge otherwise um, if we're completely depleted they have no more food right so uh, the way it works is in cycles in your life and um, so recognizing the patterns and cycles is of utmost importance once we recharge they're going to create a new situation to bring us down again and it is up to us to master this game and to surround ourselves with as many positive and conscious people as possible so that we don't become easy targets. If you're hanging out with bars and if all your friends are, um, are of a negative vibration, if they're constantly complaining and bitching about life, then those are not the kind of friends you want to hang out with. You, it is up to us to take full charge of our life and uh, even if that means breaking off friendships that off are of a negative vibration, I say it's better for you to be alone than to be surrounded by negative people. And one other way that these uh, dark entities operate is that they specifically at at attack light workers because once we awaken, we become a threat to them. And um, because once we awaken, we become very intelligent and we recognize the game and uh, we're able to um, outsmart them, outwit them. And we're also able to spread education and information like I'm doing in this video um, to um, to teach others how not to fall into this trap. So if you are on social media like Facebook, Instagram and all these social media sites and you see a lot of uh, light worker groups, um, they're infested with trolls. So th these dark beings, these dark entities are also employing many humans. Uh, they're manipulating humans to the point where we become so negatively charged that we are uh, become agents for the dark and we don't even know it. So all these trolls or people who are spewing hate online or just trying to bring uh, people down or diminish our message these are unwitting agents of the dark so 
if you are trying to spread your message, do not be discouraged by any of these trolls. And it is perfectly okay for you to completely ignore such hateful comments, for you to delete them outright, and for you to even block out these dark and uh, agents of the dark from your groups. So uh, that is a strategy that we have used very successfully. And keep your groups and keep your pages Keep your friends list of only people who are unconditionally loving towards you, who are supportive towards you. If people are constantly attacking you or trying to bring you down, they're not really your friends. So what's the point of having them in your reality? And one more thing to be aware of is of uh, false channelers who are, um, who are also agents of the dark, wittingly or unwittingly. Um, and there are a lot of channelers out there who will be uh, saying they represent uh, angelic forces and they are light workers. However, their messages are kind of distorted. So you want to be very aware of any, um, any so-called light worker who is spreading out messages. But um, there is some truth in it, but some distortion. And you can, you can do a test, you can do a litmus test of whether um, uh, a light worker is really beneficial for you or not. It's always following your own inner guidance and in your own inner intuition. If someone's message is making you feel fearful or small in some way, or they're imposing their will on you, or they're telling you things have to be done this way and this is the only way, then there's something wrong with that picture. Uh, uh, leaders and light workers and channelers, um, uh, knowledge sharers, all the people who really um, want to uplift uh, humanity, they're not going to impose their will on you and their messages are always going to be uplifting. So be very wary of light workers who are channeling the dark. So in summary, I'm just going to wrap this up by saying um, as a reminder that these dark entities are not to be feared. There is nothing for us to fear. Just think of them as parasites, as vampires who need to latch onto your energy to feed off of you. And once you figure out the game, once you know how the game is played, you can cut yourself out of uh, the loop, out of the trap, and you can just stay focused on raising your frequency. And the more we raise our frequency, the higher we get in our vibration and the more impenetrable we become to these dark beings. And um, initially, when we're raising our frequency, we're going to be assisted by ascended masters and angels, and we can invoke the assistance of any angelic beings that you resonate with. And these beings are going to teach you how to get up, break the cycle and how to get out of these, um, these attacks uh, circumstances. And once you raise your frequency to a certain level, you're going to fully anchor the state of operating from your heart instead of your head. And your negative ego will, has to be diminished to a point where it's not controlling you anymore. And uh, nobody can trigger you. Somebody could slap you on your face and you give them your other cheek because you're not affected. That's true mastery. I'm not saying let people walk over you like a welcome mat, but at the same time, do not react under any circumstances. And once we master that, it's game over. Once you anchor the fifth dimensional level of consciousness, you are impenetrable. And at that time, you're walking on earth in your complete mastery and you're able to share your soul's messages on how you overcame these dark entities and you can assist all of humanity with um, examples from your life on how you achieved it and this is what humanity needs more than ever right now we need more and more light workers to become masters and to share their message so i hope this was helpful for you and uh, i invite you to tune into my channel and subscribe if this message resonated also check out my Facebook group, which is facebook.com forward slash Simanra. I'm also going to um, add, the, uh, add the link below the video. And uh, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Until next time, we'll see you soon.